A summary of oxidation reactions. Our oxidation chemistry began with alcohols. You may recall there were three types of alcohol. Primary, secondary, tertiary. A primary alcohol has its hydroxyl group on the end of the chain. A secondary alcohol has its hydroxyl group not on the end of the chain. And a tertiary alcohol has its hydroxyl group opposite a branch. When we came to oxidise these, we needed to use oxidising agents, chemicals which, if they change colour, would tell us that oxidation was occurring. We used acidified H plus permanganate, MnO4 negative, purple colour. We used acidified H plus dichromate, CF207 negative, orange colour. When these oxidising agents were added to a primary alcohol, the purple colour changed to colourless and the orange colour changed to green. And this is evidence that something was happening, evidence that the alcohol was being oxidised. You might remember, we used loss of hydrogen. We said that during this oxidation, we were losing hydrogen, losing two H's. We use that as our definition of oxidation here. There are other definitions, but this is the most easily understood one at this point. So if we take this molecule and remove those two hydrogens there, we end up with this structure. It's not the same, it's not an alcohol anymore. It's an aldehyde. So we're saying that a primary alcohol gives an aldehyde. When we do exactly the same thing to a keto using the same oxidizing agent, we find the same colour change. The purple one goes colourless, the orange one goes green. This has been oxidised, but there's an important difference. Because this is in the middle carbon atom, that's where the action is taking place. This group here is on the middle carbon atom. It's not an aldehyde, it's a keto. And the tertiary alcohol, you might remember, went nowhere. We couldn't oxidise this, and that's because it cannot lose hydrogens the way that these two do. This can lose two hydrogens, this can lose two hydrogens, this one is not able to lose two hydrogens. Then we discovered that these in turn could possibly be oxidised. We tried to oxidise an aldehyde, we tried to oxidise a ketone. What happened? You might remember also that we used different oxidising agents at this point. Here we tried using Tollens reagent, which is a colourless solution which might turn to silver, or Benedict solution, which you might recall as a blue colour and it may turn orange. When we added these oxidising agents on aldehyde, yes, we saw these colour changes. The Tollens produce a so-called silver mirror and the Benedicts turned orange. Why? Because this had been oxidised. But this time, the oxidation is thought of in terms of gaining oxygen. If we take this molecule here, we can squeeze a little oxygen into that position. There we are. It's now COOH. It's not an alcohol, it's not an aldehyde, it's a carboxylic acid. If we try to do the same thing with a ketone, in other words, a Tollens or Benedict to it, Nothing will happen. There's no colour change. And if there's no colour change, that indicates the ketone is not being oxidised. We have a nice pattern here. The tertiary is oxidised. The secondary undergoes a one-step change. And the primary undergoes a two-step change. But that's not the end of the story. There's one further oxidation and one further oxidising agent you'd expect to know about. And that is, it's possible to go from alcohol straight to acid. We don't have to go primary alcohol, aldehyde, acid. It's possible to go from alcohol to acid in one step. And the oxidizing agent which is often used to do that is copper oxide. Copper oxide. 
Now, what is copper oxide? Well, as its name implies, copper joined to oxygen. If you add copper oxide to alcohol and there's heat, what happens is the alcohol gains this oxygen. And of course, a gain of oxygen means the alcohol has been oxidized. And if, if this is gaining oxygen, then this must be losing oxygen. And yes, this is what you see. You see copper oxide, which starts off as a black powder, turning to copper, which of course is an orange colored metal. So when you add the copper oxide to the alcohol and you see a black powder turning to orange, it means that this must have lost oxygen, therefore the alcohol has gained oxygen, therefore the alcohol has been oxidized. But there's further evidence, and the evidence of course is we're making an acid. The alcohol fumes initially are neutral, but they turn into a substance which has acidic fumes, namely a carboxylic acid. So there it is. Five oxidizing agents. The acidified permanganate and acidified dichromate here, the toluene reagent and the benzene reagent here, and the copper oxide to go all the way through.